Hello comrades and welcome back to Steve on Steve Plays Ostalgie the Berlin Wall. So uh, in my last, uh, well firstly before we begin I'd like to apologize for not uploading for a few days. I've been a bit busy doing the whole um, graduation thing which was fun, busy and stressful and also very exciting. Uh, but yeah now to get on to this video. In the last video somebody recommended to play Poland and I've been getting that rec recommendation for a while. And I have did a couple of test runs of Poland, but never like really conclusively or really like trying so hard. So this will be pretty new to me and I will probably fuck up very, very, very quickly. But yeah, let's get right into it then. So I'll be choosing Poland, which is starts in the Warsaw Pact, is in the Comic Con, and is conservative. And Poland, along with Hungary, is one of the two countries that uh, turned so soccer formist, which um, is obviously a problem, we'll try to prevent that. So the party doggery, pressure from Moscow and Western propaganda, let's begin. Okay, so let's see. We start off with a very steady uh, approval. This is, uh, party unity is okay. Support of the people is pretty damn low, that's awful. West Algi is very high. Standard of living is okay. But money reputation is actually okay. So, money is terrible. Uh, let's see our politics. So, this guy is in charge. Pragmatic military. Okay, so our sovereign is this guy. So, a democratic socialist. The fighter with bureaucracy and corruption, advocating for increasing liberties. We do not want him. So, there's Messner, loyal reformist, proponent of profit, due to reforms. Nope. And there's Kizek, loyalist who tries to sit in two chairs. We will employ him. And for minister of ideology, this guy... Non-popular time server or an uncompetitive but loyal fighter, which is great. Uh, then there's Hard Stalinist, which is awesome. We're probably going to want to take this guy. And uh, we will... Okay. So that should be okay for our cabinet for now. We might want to relax some things. We want to relax total control. Which should uh, help a bit with things. It lowers our diplomatic reputation. Which means we can uh, recognize Syria and Lebanon. Uh, we can... Can't start trading with Syria yet. What can we do? We can't. How do we lower? Oh man, I haven't played this game for so long. Uh, okay, what are the decisions to lower our diplomatic reputation at the very beginning? I don't think there are any more that we can do. Yeah, I guess we just let's take a look at our economy. A fucking salt mine is our kind of main culture building. That's interesting. Uh, let's do a bit of a slow on pause. A few things are going to happen right now. There's fight against chemical weapons. We do not sign. Uh, we'll see this in Paul. Yeah, I never actually managed to successfully do this. So let's see. Foundation. The faction of Polish concrete, ardent Stalinist and conservative communists, almost completely lost influence in the party and society. A significant role in the fall of this faction is played by one of its key figures, Albin Siwak. I'm going to completely butcher all of the Polish names. I'm very sorry for that who in the early 1980s called for the suppression of solidarity and subsequently became one of the main objects of opposition hatred. Given our policy of liberalization as well as pro western sentiment, separating members from the right wing of the party proposed to displace Polish concrete from politics, thus showing our readiness for change. Yeah, no, we will um, not do this. So wait, yeah, no, we want these Stalinists. Keep context, they'll be useful in the future. So that definitely hurts our diplomatic reputation. It's not great. Uh, let's unpause. When's this? Do we not get the integral? That's unfortunate. All right, preparation. Soon the planned negotiations with the opposition will take place, designed to pave the way for future large-scale reforms in Poland. However, should we go to new negotiations without getting ready? The head of the special services is just organizing an accident for our opposition leader so that we can seize the initiative by using confusion in the rank of opponents. After all, you cannot trust the opposition, but not to trust to... What? <laughs> However, the figures of Party Concrete offer a different plan. Conservatives suggest using special services to return our influence to the Polish Catholic Church. Earlier, the Church tried to mediate between the opposition and the state, but now the sympathies of the priests are completely owned by the opposition. So we, this is about the clergy. So we will arrange an accident. Yeah, that completely destroys our diplomatic reputation. Support of the people has plummeted. Everything is bad. 
Uh, let's hope the next few events will help fix that. Okay, <laughs> wow. Okay, so that did not take long. So in the first four days, we got overthrown. So let's try that again. We'll do party dog repression from Moscow, Western propaganda. And we won't do anything until we finish these events. We'll try to finish these events. All right, so this integral thing happened on the first... Well, I'm, I don't know why I didn't fire them. That's really strange. Allow a bit more freedom, which means we can trade with... We cannot trade with... Really? All right, let's uh, liberalize total control. So now we can trade with Syria and we can trade with China, which is great. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I had to cough a bit. Always get sick when I travel, it's annoying. So now we're down, we're down on money, so I have no idea what to do. This is a very difficult time. Let's see, uh, foundation, yep. All right, keep contacts, they'll be useful in the future. Sure thing. Now we've got a budget cuts, amazing. Uh, let's see what else. All right, preparation, so what can we do? Uh, we will arrange for an accident, sure. Okay, our people hate us. We're going to get overthrown again now. Okay. So clearly we can't do that. So this is basically an experimental game. Let's try that again. Let's unpause. Fight for chemical weapons we do not sign. Uh, foundation we will keep contacts. So that lowers party people's support by three points, which isn't awful. Let's... All right, let's see. Preparation. So we hit the churches. That makes the people very angry. Okay. We're still alive. Uh, we will not betray the ideals of socialist art because there's no point. Our diplomatic reputation is too fucked anyway. Somehow we're still alive. Okay, this is strange. Did not expect to go this far. All right, so let's shake some things up a bit. Uh, we'll put this guy in charge of that, put uh, this fell in charge of this. And the people are not happy, but hopefully we'll be able to um, change that. Alright, we have enough money to start researching things. Let's research uh, post-industrial society. It's not being researched at all. I guess that's because we don't have any research institutes. That's not great. Yeah, Poland, I think, starts off in the worst situation in all of these countries. I mean, it's it's dreadful. I don't even know what to do at all. So the first month passed, and we're somehow still alive. Something else is happening in Poland. Roundtable, okay. The long roundtable of power and solidarity began thanks to the operation to exclude priests from the political game. The opposition movement weakened throughout the country. Nevertheless, the opposition still plays an important role in the country. Perhaps it is worth using discord among our opponents. Separately, the leaders of the party concrete expressed. They offer a radical method of combating the enemy of the people to use the troops for the shooting of opposition leaders who came to the round table. Wow, that will be hardcore. That's... wow. So we can shoot them. Let's see. Kill the enemies. Let's see what that does, just for shits and giggles. When opposition representatives began to enter the building, our special forces were already at the ready. The enemies of the people did not even have time to understand what was happening as they were full of bullets. Jesus Christ, wow. People gathered at the grand opening of the round table, fled from the building in horror. At the same time, our special services arrested the remaining influential opposition figures right in their homes throughout the country. And although the opposition is completely, oh wow, as sanguinated, wow, we expect that the Germans will go on, go to the most desperate measures to avenge their comrades. Learning about the incident, almost all country of the world sharply condemned their actions Okay, uh, okay, so the government is secure, people are okay, things are kind of stable actually, surprisingly, but yeah, now we have absurdly high diplomatic reputation, we'll never be able to trade with anyone. Let's see our politics. So we just murdered like everybody, but yet we still uh, have, what do you call it, what, developed socialism, I guess, with the multiple parties, that's strange. Okay, and pause, let's go up to speed two. So let's see. Into the party is increasing. Support of the people is rapidly falling. West Lagi is increasing. Things aren't great. We have to do budget cuts. Yeah, I don't think this this attempt is going to last very long. 
Unless we get thrown some... Yeah, okay, we're losing. We're, like, hemorrhaging money. That is horrible. So, yeah, I think we're going to have to restart again. Because we're losing money, like, real hard. I don't know why. Uh, say that. Yeah, that is huge. Um, that contributes, no doubt. No, not statistics. Is there no way of seeing, like, our money? Really? That's unfortunate. If any of you know how to access the money, please comment. Damn, this is... Somehow we're still alive. But this is not a way of surviving. So yeah, we'll get overthrown very soon by a popular revolution or whatever you want to call it. Um, although things aren't... Yeah, okay, Westlake is going through the roof. People are becoming more and more angry. Okay, overthrown by revolution. Attempt number four. This time we'll try to do it moderately. We won't waste our money on the research. Let's unpause. We will not fight chemical weapons. Foundation. Uh, keep the context with them because these stalinists can be useful in the future. At least that's how I feel. Okay, so we hit the churches. That's worked, I think. Integral, uh, we will never betray socialist art. Okay, when's the next event? Come on, give it to me. Somehow, support of the people is actually increasing right now. That's kind of shocking. Uh, that is actually really shocking to me. Come on. Alright, there we go. Round table. So. Okay, let's see this again. However, a small group of party members offers us another option. In the opposition, the strifes are increasing, and we can try to agree the, with the part of the solidarity that does not agree with the ideas of Lech and stand on the positions of protecting the interests of the working people. Interesting. We will have to make concessions, introduce the post of president to... Hmm. So we can compromise with the opposition, or we can try to, like, hurt the opposition. Let's try that. Almost the entire Polish society was stunned by the news. We refused to negotiate with the main party Solidarity, but held a round table with people who did not want to have any business with us before. However, the negotiations were successful and the country was introduced to the position of president, free presidential elections will be held, and the implementation of syndicalist reforms began. Interesting. So, things aren't exactly great. So, there will be elections soon. Let's try to do a speech. How much... Speeches cost money. I have no idea how the speeches work. I mean, we're kind of gaining a money is terrible. Support of the people is growing, but so is oh, West Logie is actually not growing. So we kind of stabilized, but now we know where to go. We're not. We don't have opportunities like the GDR, and like the GDR, we don't have a stable economy. So, what do we? What do we do? Really? Do we just wait? The music in this game is phenomenal, by the way. I'm sure I mentioned it tons of times, but it's great. So, yeah, no, okay, uh, this is the Vietnamese guy is unwell. We'll support a conservative coup. Why not? Uh, they're trading with us, which is nice, because that will give us a little bit more money, which is always a good thing. Now we're getting plus 20%. Not, I mean, not 0.2. That's terrible. That's atrocious. Um, I've been watching a lot of Gordon Ramsay, so I'm in the mood for making a lot of very overblown statements. So yeah, this is the Burma situation. Uh, we'll cooperate with them. Now they're trading with us, which is great. We spent all of our hard-earned money. Honestly, at this point, I still don't know what I'm doing with Poland. I'm just This is just a, an experimental playthrough, but yet we survived those this first the first month or two of Strife. Amazingly, we still don't have money for shit. Okay, something's okay. A lot of things happening. Tiananmen Square. Uh, we will condemn the illegal actions of the PRC. What's happening, GDR? German debts. Our countries are leaps and bounds to a bright democratic future, or at least we should try to at least convince the West of this. Uh, okay, what the fuck is this? Open the borders. Blackmail the GDR. Nope, we will not open borders. There's no damn need for that. 
which helps increase the social camp stability, which, as far as I know, if it doesn't drop that below 95, Hungary will not, like, try to bounce. Um, reorientation. Soon the promised election will be held in our country, and although the people are pleased with our consensus with the opposition, our chances of winning are low. Some, ch some party members suggest reviewing the ideology of our party in order to keep pace with the times and the sympathies of the voters. But is it worthy? So, let's see. This block called the Party Concrete requested audience was to express the idea to return to their origins, the beginning of the construction of national and post -po Polish socialism with emphasis on traditions and history. So let's see. We will go. We can go Demsok, like Hungary. We can't go full capitalist. We'll uh, try to go back to our uh, Polish roots, or we'll be faithful to Marxist Leninism. I think we will do the compromise of going to our roots. Okay, that wow, that was awesome. That really helps support the people, and that like have to Westalgia. That's great. After much thought, we accepted the proposal of the conservatives. Soon the General Secretary made a televised speech with a stunning statement that the people of Poland abandoned the ideas of Marx and Leninism and began building socialism with Polish national specifics. It was announced the severance of ties with the socialist camp. Ah, oh, shit, this isn't great. Official state support for Catholicism. Okay, this is not great. So we are, like, fully abandoning, like, socialism. That is thought. Okay, that's not great. Damn, this isn't great. Let's change our economic system a bit. Let's see what it changes to. Something more in Poland. Okay, Catholic question. Uh, this church has long been a strong and influential public institution in Poland and even the support for power. True, not for ours. And although the church has not recovered from our blow, everything can change quickly due to the strong religiousness of the population and the influence of the Pope. We can negotiate with them. Okay, we'll try to negotiate a concordat with the church. After long negotiations, the church accepted our offer. Apparently, their decision was strongly influenced by recent changes in state ideology. Okay, in any case, the Polish priest blessed our party and its leader. Wow, that's awesome. Of course, we have to make our concessions, but now the church, which previously supported the opposition, has become faithful to us, too. All right, so the international community, for some reason, hates us. Standard of living is low, Westlogi is low, but support of the people is pretty, pretty good. And money is starting to increase slowly but surely as well. Actually, we're... We're okay. You know, we're not going to be able to reform the world like Germany can and try to save socialism. Yeah, there we go. We're super reformism. Let's see our politics. Kaderism. Yeah, that makes sense. So decentralization, introduction of, introduction of pluralism. So wait, these are these parties? I have no idea how this works still. Like, what are any of these things? Um... I guess we just keep trying. Okay, we can sell stuff to North Korea, right? Let's sell that license to North Korea. Send them some analysts. I don't know, sometimes when I say analysts, I want to say analysts. That makes me feel uncomfortable. Alright, so we have a bit of money. So, ooh, Japan. Oh, uh, yeah, no, we don't care about Japan. So we have a bit of money. West Lucky is decreasing. Support of the people is decreasing too. So we might want to build, like, a TV tower or something, I guess. Alright, yes, sir. This is basically uh, Germany trying to unite. We'll keep at the BS. Well, no, it's time for some reforms. And we are doing some reforms. This basically means the Warsaw Pact is going to get dissolved, from my understanding. So, yeah, we'll try to survive as a moderate reformist nation. If that is even, like, at all possible. Now we're losing money. What the fuck? Man, who knows how these game mechanics work. Okay, another event in Poland. Final solution of the economic question. Okay, this is bad. The economic situation in Poland is getting worse and worse by the day. We need more and more money to repay the debt. The Soviet Union no longer gives us a synagogue and assistance. Our economy is in stagnation. Okay, introducing shock therapy. Okay, for those of you who don't know what shock therapy is, it's basically what is described as what happened in the Soviet Union after the fall. Everything was rapidly privatized. It was a disaster. And there we suffered. Improves, uh, approves synthetic reforms. Chinese experience. Mm, fuck. Yeah, well, I guess we'll do a gradual transition to free economy like the Chinese did. I suppose we might as well. It's kind of the only way that we can maintain control. Uh, Ayatollah's dead. We'll go personally and offer our condolences. And holy shit, our actual, like, diplomatic reputation fell. 
All right, so let's see economic. We're actually trading with a bunch of people, which is really nice. Now we can start trading with Syria. Not yet. Uh, let's try to uh, decentralize things a bit. And now we can trade with Syria. And we need six money to trade with China because we condemned them in Tiananmen Square, which is uh, not ideal. Let's see, we can channel money to Gaddafi. We can trade with him. And we can do this when party loyalty is low, but it's fine for now. So yeah, we're actually doing A-OK -okay for ourselves, surprisingly enough. We're actually starting to get a lot of money. Let's see statistics, how we're doing. So GDP has decreased compared to the historical one. HGI is also dropped. Basically, we're doing terrible. Okay, wow, I tried, guys. But yeah, this is going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching so much. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Leave comments in the comments below. Suggestions for any games or countries in any games or anything like that. Or anything specific for basically anything, to be perfectly honest. And I'll try my best to do that. So yes, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.